cleanliness for work in the hydraulic system is written in capital letters. Before opening the hydraulic system, the area around the opening is to be cleaned thoroughly. Even the smallest dirt particles can lead to malfunctions and a failure of the hydraulic steering system. Raise the vehicle with a lift so that the wheels are off the ground and that during the bleeding process the wheels can be turned without any resistance. Read the instructions of the new steering pump or steering gear or in the vis as to which of the three sorts of fluids you must use for the filling of the hydraulic system. This depends on the vehicle type. In our case the vehicle is type 204. The given number stands for hydraulic fluid B, the fluid with pentacin. Wear protective glasses, clothes and gloves for the following steps. With the filling of the balance containers, it is important that you observe the fluid level constantly and continuously refill until the fluid level remains consistent. During this process, under no circumstances start the engine. Otherwise, the danger is that air gets into the hydraulic system, which would be very, very difficult to remove again. The fluid level should stop about 10 millimeters below the container edge. Hello, can you help me briefly? Proceed with the bleeding. This requires two people. While Flo turns the steering wheel slowly from one side to the other, at the same time his colleague must refill the balance container and keep an eye on the bubbles that form. The turning of the steering system should be repeated up to about 30 times until no more bubbles are to be ascertained. Stop steering please flow and start the engine. Let the engine run for about a minute without moving the steering wheel. Meanwhile the fluid is well shaken by the pump and possible air can escape. Observe the fluid level at all times and refill when necessary. Let the vehicle down again so the wheels are on the ground. Turn the steering wheel again from side to side about 10 times. Now with the resistance of the wheel on the ground, the pressure in the system is at its greatest. The fluid is thereby pressed optimally by the system and the air bubbles can escape. Should the fluid level not remain steady and the air bubbles still form, then repeat the process. Thanks, Flo. It's enough. Check the fluid level and add if necessary. Wipe the dipstick with a cloth free of fluff and close the balance container with the locking lid. The lid must be closed all the way. Take off the locking lid once again and check the fluid level on the dipstick. Hold the dipstick vertically to avoid inaccuracies. The fluid level should be always set on maximum according to the temperature. Therefore you avoid fluid levels sinking at low temperatures under the minimum level and air getting into the steering pump. If the fluid level is under the max, refill and measure once more. If you keep to the order and implementation of the working steps, you can be sure that the steering system will sustain no damage and the customer will have no cause for complaint.